Hello and welcome to a bit of a different one. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make your own fidget spinner. Uh, now if you don't know what these are, they're a very popular internet trend at the moment. Um, they look a bit like this. This is one that I've already made. Uh, they spin around. That That's quite literally the premise. Oh, I did that a bit wrong. They spin around like that um, for a little while and they, they look cool and they're quite fun to fidget with. I ain't gonna lie. The way of making them, what you need, nine cable ties, but I do like to have a few more just in case it goes horribly wrong. One, two, three, four ball bearings. Uh, you can get these from a skateboard shop. I have an old skateboard and I bought some reds bearings and basically I, I used the reds on my, old, on my new skateboard and I kept the old bearings just in case they come in handy, which they have done. You'll need a ruler, you'll need some scissors. I'm using sort of little scissors because it's a bit easier to get into the small gaps that you need to get into and then you need a bit, something a bit sharper than um, obviously scissors but please don't cut yourself with with the sharp thing um, so let's get into it what you're gonna need first is three of the cable ties and obviously well maybe not that obvious but the first thing you're gonna want to do is, is just join um, if I could do it the right way it's just I did it the right way the first time and I did it the wrong way the second time so um, you just want to leave a, lo a load of slack on it um, but what you want to do is is just connect them all up um, on every end so at the end of it you just have a big triangle if I squeeze it up you might be able to see it you just have a big triangle of, of cable ties but you want to you want to tighten them up not too much I will give you exact lengths in a minute uh, now sort of a good length is around sort of seven centimeters so uh, just over well about half of that so I'd say about there would we say that's seven centimeters that's eight it's 80 centimeters, but I'll just do it. We'll, we'll just leave it. You can have a little bit of leeway. Uh, it can make it a bit easier. Um, rather than doing it too tight, as they say, it's better to put water in the dough slowly than chuck it all in at once. Otherwise, you can't take it out. So we'll put this to about eight as well. Ta-da. Oh, see, I feel like I've done that one a bit too tight, but we'll wait and see. If this goes right, fantastic. If it goes wrong, not so good. So once you've got your little triangle, um, you want to get the first ball bearing. Uh, now what I've got, as you can probably see, I've got three of these here, and this one looks a little bit different. Same as here, I've got three of the same and then one different. I've got a rubber bearing on the middle, because it spins a bit better than the metal bearings. Um, now the bearings I've got here don't spin that well, so the one I'm making won't be that good, or as good as this one. Um, this is just purely for show purposes, I'm not, I'm not going to use the one I make here, I'm just going to use this one. So you might want a better ball bearing in the middle, maybe pick the best spinny one and put that to one side and just use the three that aren't going to spin, um, which are the three on the outside, which is these three here. So what you're going to want to do is, I like to have all of mine facing the same way, as you can see I've got the pointy bit that sticks out on the bottom and then the top bit's kind of flat, so I'm going to do the same here, so I'm going to have the pointy bit like that. So I'm going to put one up here, one there, and one there. That's how it's going to go. Uh, and to secure them to the other cable ties, you're going to need more cable ties. So you're going to thread it through the... Uh, let me just make sure I've got it the right way. You're going to thread it through this ball bearing. And then thread it round the cable tie there. Oh, if I could put it in. And then just tighten it up. But before you tighten it all the way, what you want to do is just get it securely into position, like so. There is a little bit of leeway once uh, you fully tighten it, so don't worry too much. It's not the end of the world. Uh, it probably won't stay in place when you put it in. I mean, I can still move it around like quite a lot, as you can see. Uh, it just makes it a bit harder. So you want to get that as tight as you can. Really pull on that uh, and leave that one there. And then you want to get another cable tie, if I can find one that isn't broken. And um, we're going to do the same with this one. So just carry on until you've done all three of these. So once you're done, you should have three ball bearings connected to at the end, six cable ties, uh, and they should be in a triangle like this. Uh, now the next thing you want to do is you want to get another cable tie, and you want to kind of squeeze these together. So the next step is to get a cable tie, 
and put it under the well contraption you've made uh, and then just tighten it up so what the aim of the game here is to tighten it up around um, the, the joint so what you're aiming to do if I can show you is just to tighten it up like that okay so you want to tighten it up like that and then you want to leave that there and you want to get another cable tie and the next cable tie is going to go from this side to the other side and you're going to tighten that up and then the next aim is to have a cable tie that goes down here through there and then the next and then what you've got to do is have a final cable tie going round here down there under there so what you've done is you've just created a, a you've tightened up the the contraption you've made basically so at the moment it doesn't look right but once I tighten this one up it will look a bit better so we're just going to tighten that up in there it can be a little bit tricky I'm not going to deny it it can be very tricky but you want to get it in front of the bearing rather than behind it so that's behind it what you want is you want it on the other side of the bearing so over there if it would let me do it there you go so what you've got is you've got all these bearings sort of um, trapped now in their little enclosures uh, so I'm going to tighten these up a little bit like that so it creates a nice little tighter triangle on the inside you don't want to do it too tight because you do have to fit a bearing in now this can also be a tricky task and it took me quite a while to, quite a while to do it the first time I made it um, so if I can do it right oh, if the bearings if the bearings slip out like this one has here you simply just stretch the cable tie back over uh, and there you go the next step is to tighten the outside one so the outside ones the first ones we put on you want to tighten those up as tight as you can to just really make this contraption tight and small now that you've made it all fit in and then what you can do once you've done that is you can tighten the, the ones we just put on which are these three what I like to do is just tighten them all really at this point make them all nice and tight so yeah as I said before you just want to tighten them all up go around them all make sure they are all as tight as they can be so it doesn't come undone and there you go now you have this really weird looking contraption uh, and the next thing to do is actually to chop them all off this is where the little scissors come in handy because I've got to now get in this tiny little gap here and chop that off and once you've chopped those off there you go you have a fidget spinner now as I said this one wouldn't be as good as the other one purely because the bearing I put in the middle isn't really the best I mean it spins um, just not very well the standing nice for these little bits here so you might see these sort of spiky bits on the edge so now the issue with those is the fact that they hurt when you spin it so what you want to do is just slice off those black bits and the reason we don't want those is because frankly they hurt your fingers so it might be best to get someone else to do this bit for you as it is quite easy to cut yourself but you just keep going and what that means is then you've got a I mean it still looks like it pokes out but it doesn't hurt as much as this sharp end does I can run my finger quite happily across that but this one actually hurts a little bit and once you've done that on all sides, you can then have a nice little fidget spinner. But of course I use this one, because it actually spins. Thanks for watching, let me know how you got on with this in the comments if you give it a go. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, do it is all free, and I'll see you in the next episode of Whatever I Make. Bye!